hello everyone today i will deliver a lecture on exact differential equation part 2 some important differentials x dy plus y dx is equal to d of xy d of x plus minus d of y is equal to d of x plus minus y third x dx plus y dy is equal to half of d of x square plus y square fourth x square dx plus y square dy equal to one third d of x cube plus y cube fifth y dx minus x dy by y square is equal to d of x by y sixth x dy minus y dx by x y is equal to d of log of y by x seventh x dx plus y dy is equal to d of integration x dx plus integration of y dy where <coughs> where x is a function of x alone and y is a function of y alone Eighth, x dy minus y dx by x square plus y square is equal to d of tan inverse y by x. Ninth, x dx plus y dy by x square plus y square is equal to half of d of log of x square plus y square. Example 1. Solve 1 plus xy y dx plus 1 plus xy x dy equal to 0. Solution. Here m is equal to 1 plus xy into y and n is equal to 1 plus xy into x. m is coefficient of dx and n is coefficient of dy. Therefore, partial differentiation of m with respect to y, this is del m by del y is equal to 1 plus 2xy, which is equal to partial differentiation of n with respect to x. Therefore, by the theorem on exact differential equation, the given equation is exact. Now, integration m dx is equal to integration of y plus x y square because m is equal to y plus x y square dx which gives x y plus x square y square by 2. Here we assume y to be constant. Similarly, we integrate n with respect to dy of those terms free from x. Here, n does not have any term free from x. Here, n is equal to x plus x square y. 
therefore integration n dy is equal to integration 0 dy free from x which gives 0. Therefore, the solution is x y plus x square y square by 2 is equal to c. Example 2 solve y square into e to the power x y square plus 4 times x cube into dx plus 2 y x y e to the power x into y square minus 3 y square to hold dy is equal to 0. Here coefficient of dx m is equal to y square e raised to the power x into y square plus 4x cube and n is equal to 2y x y e raised to the power x into y square minus thrice y square. Therefore, del m by del y is equal to 2 times y into e raised to the power x y square into 1 plus 5 square is equal to del n by del x and therefore the given equation is exact because del m by del y is equal to del n by del x. Now integration of m with respect to x is equal to integrate integration y square e raised to the power x y square plus 4 times x cube dx which gives e raised to the power x y square plus x to the power 4 assuming y as constant integration n dy is equal to integration 2 times x y e raised to the power x y square minus thrice y square dy free from x is equal to e raised to the power x into y square minus y cube. Therefore, the solution is e raised to the power x y square plus x to the power 4 minus y cube is equal to c. A function mu x y is said to be an integrating factor i f of the equation m dx plus n dy equal to 0 if it is possible to obtain a function u x y such that u into m dx plus n dy is equal to du. In other words, an integrating factor is a multiplying factor by which the equation can be made exact. Theorem. If the equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 has 1 and only one solution then there exists an infinite number of integrating factors. Proof Suppose that f of x y is equal to c where c is an arbitrary constant in general solution of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. On differentiation we have df is equal to del f by del x into dx plus del f by del y into dy is equal to 0.
since f of x y is equal to c is the general solution of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. So, del f by del x by m is equal to del f by del y by n must hold identically. Therefore, there exists a function mu such that del f by del x is equal to mu m del f by del y is equal to mu n. Thus, mu into m dx plus n dy is equal to mu m dx plus mu n dy which is equal to del f by del x into dx plus del f by del, del y into dy is equal to df. That is an integrating factor mu exists. Suppose that phi of f is a function of f. then mu into phi of f into m dx plus n dy is equal to phi of f into df. The right hand side of the above expression is exact. So, mu phi f is also an integrating factor since, since phi f is an arbitrary function of f. We can say that there exist an infinite number of integrating factors which proves the theorem. Rules for determining integrating factors. Rule 1 first part if m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is both homogeneous and exact then its primitive is mx plus ny is equal to c provided the degree of homogeneity is not equal to minus 1. Number 2, if m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is homogeneous but not exact and if mx plus ny is not equal to 0, then 1 by mx plus ny is an integrating factor of the equation. Now, we will discuss about example 3. Solve x square y into dx minus x cube plus y cube dy is equal to 0. The given equation is homogeneous because here coefficient of dx this is x square y its total exponent 2 here x exponent of x is 2 and exponent of y is 1 this is 2 plus 1 this is 3 and here also exponent of x is 3 and exponent of y is 3 therefore this equation is homogeneous. In this case m is equal to x square y n is equal to minus of x cube plus y cube. Therefore, differentiating m partially with respect to y gives x square del m by del y is equal to x square similarly del n by del x is equal to minus thrice x square. Since del m by del n sorry del m by del y is not equal to del n by del x. So, the given equation is not exact. Also, mx plus ny is equal to minus y to the power 4, which is non-zero. Hence, by rule 1, integrating factor is 1 by mx is equal to minus 1 by 
y to the power 4 therefore we apply rule 1 2 multiplying by minus 1 by y to the power 4 to the given equation we have minus x square by y cube dx plus x cube by y to the power 4 plus 1 by y dy is equal to 0. If we divide this equation by minus 1 by sorry if we multiply this equation by the integrating factor minus 1 by y to the power then this y will be cancelled and this y cube also will cancelled and therefore it becomes this equation implies that minus x square by y square taken to be outside into y dx minus x dy by y square plus 1 by y dy is equal to 0 which implies that x square by y square into d of x by y plus y by y dy is equal to 0. Integrating this equation we have minus of integration x square by y square d of x by y plus integration 1 by y dy is equal to log of c which implies that minus x cube by thrice y cube plus log y is equal to log c implies that y is equal to c e to the power x cube implies that y is equal to c e raised to the power x cube by thrice y cube. Now rule number 2, if 1 by n del m by del y minus del n by del x is a function of x alone say f of x then e raised to the power integration of f x dx is an integrating factor of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Example 4 solve the equation x cube plus x into y raised to the power 4 dx plus 2 into y cube dy is equal to 0. Here this equation is not homogeneous because here m is equal to x cube and exponent is 3 and this is sum of exponent is 5 and here is 3. So, this is not an homogeneous, not homogeneous equation. Solution here m is equal to x cube plus x y raised to the power 4 n is equal to 2 y y cube. So, del m by del y is equal to 4 times x y cube and del n by del x is equal to 0. Since these are not equal, therefore the equation is not exact. But 1 by n del m by del y minus del n by del x is equal to 4 x y cube by twice y cube is equal to twice x, which is a function of x alone. This is equal to suppose f x. So, integrating factor is equal to e raised to the power integration of fx dx is equal to e raised to the power twice x dx is equal to e raised to the power x square. So, multiplying the given equation by integrating factor we have e raised to the power x cube into x cube 
plus x into y raised to the power 4 dx plus e raised to the power x square into twice y cube dy. Here this equation is multiplied by the integrating factor e raised to the power x square which becomes this. Or 2 into e raised to the power x square x cube plus x y raised to the power 4 dx plus 4 into e raised to the power x square y cube is equal to 0 multiplying both sides by 2. Integrating we have integration of 2 into x cube into e raised to the power x square dx plus integration of d of y raised to the power 4 into e raised to the power x square is equal to c where c is an arbitrary constant of integration implies that e raised to the power x square by simply fine after simplifying we have e raised to the power x square into x square minus 1 plus e raised to the power x square into y to the power 4 is equal to c. Which implies that e raised to the power x square into x square plus y raised to the power 4 minus 1 is equal to c. Therefore, the general solution is e raised to the power x square into x square plus y raised to the power 4 minus 1 is equal to c, where c is arbitrary constant of integration. Note to eval evaluate this integration, integration 2 into x cube e raised to the power x square dx, take x square is equal to z. Then two i's x dx will become dz and after simplifying we can easily integrate this equation and integrate by parts. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Please like, share and comment. Please press the bell icon to get notifications.